Se me adelantó Marvin. Hello guys, I'm waiting for you. Hello, welcome. Hello, my good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you doing today? ¿Cómo les va el día de hoy? Bien. Good. Soso. 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 ¿Por qué soso? Mientras más son todavía. Ah, yes. Yeah, that's true. That's a problem. The traffic, right? Traffic. Yes. Traffic is a problem, yeah. Ese, ese es un motivo por el que a mí no me gustaría vivir en, en San Salvador. Por el tráfico. Don't like it. Okay. So, welcome to the class, you guys. Thank you for your punctuality. Yo vi que desde Good temprano evening. estábamos. Good evening. Good evening. Marta, um, desde temprano tenía aquí a Marvin y tenía a Carlos, so thank you very much for your punctuality, y después se fueron conectando a los demás. Gracias a Carlos, thank you Carlos for sending the date, so remember that we always start with the date, and thank you to all the people that have the cameras on, right? As you know, we need to have the camera on. Only if you have something to do, or you have an exception, hello, Helen. Only if there's something, you can tell me, teacher, I cannot have my camera on, okay? Excellent, that's very, ya no me siento solita, you see? Now I feel accompanied, right? Ahora sí me siento acompañada. Okay, perfect. So again, guys, eh, una vez más, espero, I hope that you had a great weekend. Espero que hayan tenido un buen fin de semana, que hayan podido descansar, sobre todo, right? I hope that you could have a little bit of a break and that you could do your activities. Supongo que trabajaron el 16. Did you work on 16th? Yes? Yeah. Okay. So no fue libre. <laughs> There's that. It was not a, 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 a day off. Okay. Un día libre. It was not a day off. Anyways, so we're going to start with the class. I'm going to start with the attendance right now. Luego también, if you have problems with the platform, si tienen problemas con la plataforma en algún ejercicio, me lo dejan saber, ¿ok? Um, eh, también, quiero ver qué más. Es decir, la plataforma, si tienen problemas, que me manden la fecha, please. So, recuerden que siempre tienen que enviar la fecha. Así que, en lo que yo paso asistencia, les digo eso para que lo puedan hacer desde antes. En lo que yo paso asistencia, pueden estar mandando the attendant, I mean the date. Y así cuando yo termine, ya puedo revisarlas. Ok. Let's go. Good evening. Welcome, Mario. Welcome to the class. Ya aprendí a reconocerles la voz. Yo oigo una voz y digo, ah, tal. Now I know who's talking. Okay, let's see what is your attendance. This is not, this is your attendance. Okay. Uh, today is Monday 19th. Okay, let's go. Andrea Yasmina Aguilar Castaneda. Good evening, present. Carlos Santana Ramos Peñate. Good evening, hello there. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Ellen Gabriela López Morán. Present. Jacqueline Yamilet Guadrón Hernández. Good evening, teacher. Present. Ok. Ani Marisol Navarro Morales. Jenny Elizabeth Santa María Minero. Present. Karen de Cire Mengíbar de Sánchez. Present. Catherine Beatriz Morales. Ah, no. Ya no, ya no. Never mind. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Kirna Leticia Moya Mengíbar. Mario Edgardo Martínez Villacorta. Present. Marta Idalia Arevalo Jiménez. Present. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubías. Present. En Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Good evening. Present. 
Excelente. ¿Nadie más se me conectó? I think no, no. Ok. So we're going to start. Veo que no hay dudas sobre la platform. I'm just going to check the dates. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Monday. No with S. It's not Mondays. It's Monday. Ok. Sí. Very good. Good job. Excelente, Marta Idalia, Andrea, Mario Edgardo, Jenny, Kirna, Ellen, and Carlos. Excelente, thank you very much. That was really good. No mistakes, no encontré errores, solo una S ahí que iba de más. Por el contrario, todo excelente. Good job. Entonces esperaría que las fechas que nos las mandaron, y you can share the dates, ¿ok? So we're going to start with the class that we have for today. And today we have the class number, let me remember. I think it's number nine. Yeah, it's number nine. As you know, como ya saben, vamos a tener que cambiar eh, fechas por el asueto que hubo, ya que el día viernes sí vamos a tener clases, but we didn't have classes. So we're going to change that, okay? Que terminaríamos, eh, si no mal recuerdo, el 4 de octubre. Sí, ¿verdad? October 4th. I think it's the last day that we're going to be here in classes. Okay. And Monday, 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 Monday. Excellent. Thank you, Atenas. Thank you, Karen. Excellent. Good job. Okay. So as you know, we're going to be finishing on October 4th. I think this week, next week, and then two days of the following week. Okay. Excellent. Now. The last class, we were practicing a little bit more of imperatives. And also, we needed to see a topic, que es un tema muy pequeñito, de decir, yo necesito y yo tengo que. Okay. Básicamente, vamos a poner un to antes del siguiente verbo, y ahorita les voy a mostrar eh, ejemplos. That's the only thing we're going to do. Okay. For example, como decir, necesito que, necesito hacer tal cosa, o have to, hacer tal cosa, ¿verdad? Tengo que. Por ejemplo, yo necesito enviar un email. Entonces voy a poner need to y después el verbo en su forma base. I need to send an email. A ver quién me dice por qué yo utilicé en antes de email. Because the vowel is the first letter in the next word. Excellent, Mario. Because we have a vowel as a first letter in the following word. Yeah, excellent. Good job. So I need to send an email. If you pay attention, we have one verb, two verbs. So to join the two verbs, we're going to need two. This is a joining for these and these verbs. Okay. El primero ya le da acción el I. So, para el segundo necesito acción con el to. I need to send an email. Now, we're going to do one with have to. Have to is for an obligation, ¿ok? Have to ya no es una necesidad, es una obligación, algo que tiene que hacer. So, I have to, uh, this es mi caso, I have to teach English. ¿Ok? I have to teach English. So, el primero es para expresar necessity. And the second one is to express obligation. First one, necessity, obligation. Okay? That's when we use them. Y la que vamos a utilizar es la estructura C. Let me... Oh, wait. Change the color. Shouldn't have. So vamos a ir con subject. Después vamos a agregar need to or have to plus the verb, la acción que necesitamos hacer, plus a complement. That's what we're going to need. Subject, need to or have to, plus verb, plus complement. Lo único donde va a cambiar es si hacemos esa necesidad con la tercera persona. ¿Ok? Okay, Gaby, welcome to the class. So, yeah, 
with the third person, obviamente con la tercera persona van a cambiar esos verbos, ¿verdad? No va a ser need to, sino que va a ser need, oh wait, needs to para la tercera persona. ¿Cuál es la tercera persona? A ver si me ayudan a recordarlo. She. He, she, it, right? And has to. Has to sería tiene que, ¿verdad? Ella. For example. He needs to practice English. Okay? He needs to practice English. She needs, I mean, she has to, una obligación, ya vamos a hablar no de necesidad, sino que de obligación. This is obligation. She has to check the products. Ella tiene que chequear los productos. Okay. So again, the first one is necessity. And the second one is an obligation. Something that it has to be done. No question. It has to be done. Okay. Ahora quiero que basados en estos examples, okay, paying attention to these examples, you are going to send me an activity that you need to do this week, an activity that you have to do this week. Me van a enviar una actividad que tienen que hacer esta semana, necesitan hacer esta semana y una que tienen que hacer. Following the examples, okay? Following these two examples. Okay, Gaby, I understand. ¿Se comprende la actividad, you guys? Yep. Okay, Marvin. I need to go to the spa. <laughs> okay, me too. <laughs> I need to buy something in the market. I have to do some homeworks. I need to visit a nursing home. Home is with what M? Solo con una M. Tengo duda si lo escribí. Okay. Like I have to visit the doctor. Yes. Spa? I need to go to the spa. It's correct, está correcto. I have to visit the doctor. I need to wash my clothes. 
I think that you have to wash your clothes more than you need to. <laughs> and I have to go to the doctor. Have to go to the doctor. Okay. O tenemos dos visitas al doctor al momento. I need Fue to. Corrector. Yeah. Solo yo me puso ahí y tiene que ser tú, ¿verdad? Donde dice I have to go to the doctor. I need to bathe my dog. Bath. Bath. Only eliminamos la letter E, ¿ok? I need to bath my dog. Uh, I have to make reports at work, ¿ok? I need to update budget. The budget. I need to update the budget, ¿ok? I need to update the budget. I have to visit a nursing home. Tenemos dos personas visiting nursing homes. Uh, I need to remember tomorrow's meeting. Or you have to, <laughs> because it's an obligation, the meeting. I need to generate more, what? Sales. I need to make more sales. Yo usaría. It's mejor make than generate. I need to make more sales. I have to finish the client's report. Se la voy a mandar corregida, denme un segundito. I need to finish the clients with apostrophe and S. Así mire. I need to finish the client's report. I need to see you again. <gasps> Carlos, you're very romantic every time. I have to tell you something. Oh my goodness, Carlos. I need to see you again. I have to tell you something. <gasps> okay, okay. I have to go to CNR. Okay. Excellent. Me faltan varios, de hecho. I have some examples here. I have, let me see. Karen, Mario, Marta, Ellen, Andrea, Kirna, Atenas, Jenny, Carlos, otra vez, Atenas, otra vez. Um, yeah, only them. Faltan. Okay, so basically we use need to to express a necessity, something that we need to do, and we use have to for obligations. I think it's not a difficult topic, okay? Ahora, cuéntenme algo que un superior o subalterno suyo tiene que hacer esta semana. Utilizando has to y need, uh, needs to en tercera persona, ¿ok? Me pueden decir el nombre de la persona y qué necesita hacer o tiene que hacer. I need to have money in order to buy my house. Y las caras son, las caras, las casas son carísimas. I have to work hard to save money. Yeah. Okay. Cuénteme algo con un subalterno o superior suyo tiene que ser this week. Remember que ahora van a utilizar tercera persona. Needs to, it has to. Subalterno es una persona que está a su cargo. O sea, que usted es su supervisor o su jefe. O sea, me refiero que si usted no tiene subalternos, entonces me va a contar algo que va a ser. Perdón, si usted no tiene eh, jefes a su cargo, me va a contar que va a ser un subalterno y que usted tiene personas a su cargo.
preparado. O el corrector se nos fue así. El autocorrect. Kirna has to visit a nursing home. Yeah, she has to. Carlos has to finish all the reports by Friday. Okay. Marvin, ahorita veo. Oh, yeah, no lo veo. I have need to go climb the volcano. Se la voy a corregir. ¿Y tiene que o necesita que, Marvin? Para ver si necesitamos have or need. Eso tiene que ser uno de los dos verbos. I need to go. Así. Tengo que. Oh, tiene que, entonces sería have to. Let me correct that for you. Have. Cuando es tengo que, es have. Ok, my boss. Ha, ajá. Me están diciendo, ajá. Recuerden que en tercera persona es la siguiente regla. This has or needs. Porque es third person. She needs to check her schedule. She has to attend. Um, Andrea, ahí la, el segundo verbo ya no va a llevar esa S. Porque ya lo lleva el primero. Todos los verbos que se escriben después del to van en su forma base. She has to sell the products at the pharmacy. She needs to answer all the messages on social media. Okay. My boss has to. Mm -hmm. She needs to get some glasses. She has to pay something. My boss has to deliver reports. Okay. Still waiting. ¿Qué pasa? Es que volví a mi otro trabajo y me da nervios ese trabajo. She has to supervise the pharmacy. She has to make reports. Supervise the pharmacy. She has to make the report. Ahí está. Melanie, Melanie has to prepare for the event. Se lo voy a mandar solo aquí. Event on Tuesday. Ahí les estoy mandando un. Y yo en lugar de decir prepare, utilizaría. Has to get ready. Ahí está. He needs to more time with his team. He needs to have more time. Déjeme hacer los corrijo aquí. He needs to have, necesita tener more time with his team. He has to visit many 
pharmacies. Like that. Okay. Now, ya les envié correcciones a quienes necesitaba. Now we're going to share this with our classmates. Okay. This is just like a speaking practice, a really fast speaking practice. What are we going to do? We're going to say, okay, this week I have to do this. This week I need to do this. Luego me van a contar que va a ser su subalterno o su supervisor. Uh, this week my boss has to do this. This week my boss needs to do this. Y se lo van a ir a contar a sus classmates. This is just like a little bit of a pronunciation practice. Cuando vengamos, elijo personas al azar para hacerlo acá frente a la clase. ¿Se comprende el activity? We get it. Díganme sí porque se me congelan sus videos. Sí. Thank you. Gracias. Ya no me siento solita, yeah. Solín. Solín, solita. Ok, let's go. Really quick.
teacher. Dígame. Tengo un problema, me, me saco de la sala. No, no, no. Creo que yo... está... ¿No habían terminado? No, no, no. Ah, yo pensé que ya habían terminado no, y los mandé a llamar a no. todos. No, teacher. <ríe> y de hecho estamos, estábamos llamándole para que nos ayudara. Ah. Ajá. Vaya, entonces Pero... le, voy a, le, le voy a clarificar aquí a ver qué pasó. Ya vamos a ver. Ok. Ok. Voy a second. Me dicen que no habían terminado y que lo saqué de las salas. Ok, ¿cuál era? Así, así es, teacher. Ok, así, así es. perdonen, perdonen, lo voy a volver a mandar, pero díganme, ¿cuál era la duda que tenían, Kirna? Que me dijo que me estaban llamando. Era cómo íbamos a hacer la pregunta, teacher. Ah, ok. Sí, hacerlo... Bien, entonces mejor que los traje. What okay. activities do you have to do this week? This is para las de have to. Para las de need to. What activities do you need to do this week? Así es para las propias, ¿verdad? Y para las de sus class de sus coworkers, compañeros de trabajo, serían así. What activities does your coworker have to do? Y aquí sí ponemos have to porque este es el auxiliar que nos va a ayudar a preguntar. El does. Y aquí también does your Coworker need to do this week. Esas son las dos preguntas. Para las de need to, have to. Solo me van a decir una respuesta en cada una, obviamente. ¿Se comprende mejor ahora? Yeah, fine. Excelente. Yes. Excelente. Bueno, copien ahí. Oh, se las voy a mandar a. Esperen, se las voy a mandar al chat, pero las copian. You can copy them porque se pierden en el chat. And this one. Ahí estamos. Excellent. Ok. Copien ahí. Y vamos entonces. Disculpen ahí que lo saqué. I'm sorry.
Good evening. Uh, I am saying hi, Prof. Welcome, welcome to the class. Okay, let's ask. Voy a preguntarle si en específico some people. Okay, um, let's see. Carlos, what activities do you have to do this week? Teacher, um, ah, la perdí, espérame. Ya la encontré. I have to do a brand activation in Sonsonate. Okay, now you ask a question, in, in a, any question to another classmate. Okay. Um, um, Mario. Yep. Hello. What activities do you have to do this week? I have to... What? This... <laughs> I have... have... <laughs> Wait a minute. I have... I had to buy some fruit for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, Mario, you <laughs> ask another question to another <laughs> classmate. Okay. Um, Helen, what do you have to do this? What do you have to do this week? It's the ultimate. No, it's the first one. What activities do you have to do this week? He said, uh, what right? Activities? Yes. What? I need. I have, he said, uh, I have. I have, have the report. I have to make your report. Mm -hmm. Now, Ellen, you ask another question to another classmate. Um, quiero ver. Link, link donde está Idalia. Okay. What activity do you have to do this week? Um, I have to. I had to. I had to answer phone. Answer the phone. Okay. Now, now you, Marta. Pero preguntar los demás need to. Ya preguntaron mucho have to. So pregunta like what activities do you need to do this week? Another classmate. Um. Andreita. Okay. Hágale la pregunta. What activity do you do you need to the what, no? What activity do you need to the this week? To do this week. To I need. I need to bath my dog bath my dog okay yes okay excellent guys thank you very much for your participations now remember no van a utilizar having need together a menos que digan tengo que hacer i need to i mean to tengo que perdón necesito tener i need to have a meeting necesito tener un meeting ahí sí verdad pero no van a decir las dos juntas como I need to have to y luego el verbo. Además, si ya, esto yo lo expliqué, pero I won't explain again because vi muchos errores de esto. Si ya pongo aquí, he has to do, ya no voy a poner das, porque el do después, los verbos después del do van en su forma base. He has to do, um, I don't know, he has to do... Bleh. Whatever has to do. Oh, por ejemplo, she needs to speak. No voy a decir to speaks, ¿ok? Eso es incorrecto. This is correct. 
she needs to speak. Porque el verbo después del to needs to go in the base form. Necesita siempre ir en su forma base. It needs to go in the base form. Mm -hmm. Y no me vayan a escribir has to and needs to junto, ¿verdad? Eligen uno o el otro. Ok. So, let's continue with a conversation we have in the manual. Let me look for it. That is related to needs to and has to. Okay. I'm going to read the conversation for you. Remember, I'm going to read it twice or three times. One time is going to be for pronunciation of every single word. And the second time, it's going to be for intonation. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. Que escucho que me dicen mucho clients. Clients is clients, clients. And you, well, I have to reschedule two meetings. Repito esta palabra. Reschedule. Re, reschedule for tomorrow. They were canceled. No me van a decir canceled. Esto se pronuncia solo como una de canceled. They were canceled. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide, provide important information to some customers. Aunque se escribe customers, se pronuncia customers, customers. That sounds interesting. No, interesting, interesting, interesting. Do you, do you need me to repeat the pronunciation? A work in a specific? Interesting, 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 Inter interesting, 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 interesting. Well, es que se dice rep, pero se dice en forma suave. Se lo voy a poner acá, denme un segundo. Interesting. I'm gonna show you. Interesting. 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 You see? Interesting. Wait, 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 wait. No, let's a second. Interesting. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Another pronunciation, you guys? Yes. Reschedule. Yeah. Reschedule. Yeah, lo dijo bien. That's correct. Reschedule. Reschedule. Esto es como reagendar, ¿verdad? Un schedule es un horario. So reschedule es cambiar de horario o agendar diferente. Cancelled. 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 Okay. I'm going to repeat the conversation. Okay. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were cancelled today. Oh, uh, that's too bad. Yes. I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Important. Eso es muy también eh, eh, como special to pronounce. It's important. No important. 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 Como que la A fuera muda. Important. Important. Okay. Anyways, se los voy a enviar al grupo, pero úsenlos porque voy a los break rooms y no veo que no consultan y lo están pronunciando así diferente. Ok. Vamos a ver. Ya. Yeah. 
And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, ahí lo tienen entonces. Pero antes de ir a eso, I'm going to go with the attendance. Porque ya es the time. Ni he sentido que se haya hecho la hora, you guys. Okay, let's see. Andrea Yasmina Aguilar Castaneda. Present. Um, Carlos Santana Ramos Peñate. Hello, Dor. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Present. Okay. Ay, un segundito, se me fue la lista. Okay. Um, Ellen Gabriela López Morán. Present. Jacqueline Yamilet Guadrón Hernández. Dijo que tenía problemas con internet, right. Annie Marisol Navarro Morales. Jenny Elizabeth Santa María Minero. Present. Karen de Sire Menjibar de Sánchez. Present. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Girna Leticia Moya Menjibar. Present. Okay. Uh, María Teresa González de Lemos. Present. Uh, tengo a Mario Edgardo Martínez Villacorta. Present. Marta Idalia Arevalo Jiménez. Present. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubías. Present, teacher. En Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Now let's go and practice the conversation. Gracias al compañero ahí que envió al chat um, the, the picture. Thank you very much. Y ya tienen ahí también el audio, okay? Let's do groups of three. Just because, no, let's do, solo va a quedar uno de two. The mass van a ser three participants, I think so. Oh no. Ah, ya sé por qué me da problema en el número de participantes. Okay, let's see. Esta persona. Okay, perfect. Let's go.
Sound. Ok. Sound. Interesting. 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 Ok. ¿Y cómo, y cómo te ven la clase? Quiero renunciar. No, ya vas a ver. <risa> Vaya, Vaya Gaby. Otra, otra vez. Vaya. Vaya, pues ahorita voy. And is there some meeting? No. You need something. Some ¿Cómo? Bye. Something. Something is. And is there something you need to do? To do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Actually, I need to call some client. Well, I have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Rescue. Um, um, is there something something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule to meet for tomorrow. They were cancelled today. Oh, Cancel. that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Interesting.
The letter A and D, the pronouns is and or N. The letter what? The, the word and. It's the same name of you? a person. Oh, and you, and you. And, and you. And you. Mm, the another word is a, E and D. That pronounce the is end, the same. And. And, and, and is the same? No. The Wait same a sound. The sound. Wait a moment. I'm gonna show you. And pronunciation. Cambridge. Some, sometimes I say and. I say and you, but you say and you. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. End. Okay, la otra, la que es end. Uh -huh. So, and you, for example, and you, right? It sounds like and. End. Okay. End. End. Y la otra suena un poco. End. 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 Oh, okay. Más end. seco. End. Y la E más pronunciada. End. 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 For example, what a n went like that. And you, the other is the n. The n, okay. And you. And you, the n. Okay.
Okay. Now I'm going to ask some participants to do the conversation here, obviously. Okay, so let's see. ¿Quién cumpleaños? Who has birthdays on this month, de este mes? Parte de Marta. Marta. Gaby. Y Karen. Marvin. 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 Y Karen la vi que casi activa el micrófono. ¿Será que sí? No. Ok. <risa> Marvin, su regalo de cumpleaños va a ser elija a un participante. Uh, <ríe> eh, María Teresa. Ok, excelente. Y Marta, su regalo de cumpleaños, elija a un participante. Ahorita. <ríe> Karencita. Ok. So Karen en <ríe> María. Cher. ¿Ya? Gracias, Karencita, por ser mi regalo. Ya sabe. <risa> Marvin, sí, dígame. Pero también de regalo necesito que me dé un viaje al canal Los Volcanes. No, yo digo, va. Este, le voy a mandar una imagen de un volcán. <risa> <risa> ok, son María Teresa en Karen. Yo sentí que se afligieron los que cumplían años este mes y dijeron, híjole, ya me tocó. No, 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 no. En el regalo. Ok. Let's see. Let's start with Maria Teresa and then with Karen. Maria Teresa. Hello. Um, is there something to need to need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients in you. Well, I had to reschedule to meeting tomorrow for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I had to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, excellent, you guys. Good job and applause to the ladies. Good job, good job. Excellent. Ok, so only. Boom, 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 boom. Aquí me dijo, yo creo que fueron nervios, pero me dijo, is there something to need to do? Es you need to do, right? Lo demás todo bien. And this last part, interesting. Ok, interesting, like that. Now, you, Karen, choose a participant, and Maria will choose the other participant. Ok. Marta. Son la venganza. Eh, <risa> Marvin. <risa> Vámonos, Marvincito. Nosotros podemos ir. Sí, son pesadas, va María Teresa. <risa> la poquito. venganza nunca es buena, mate el alma y la envenena. <risa> Vámonos, Marvincito. Ok, Marta, you start. Uh, ¿Yo? Ya. Yeah. O oh, Ann. You are John. We are going to be okay. the first one. Okay, okay. Um, is is there something you need to no you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to require. Reschedule. Reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to. I have to provide. 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 See. Sí. Provide import. Important. Import, import information to some customer. Customer. Mm -hmm. That sus, sounds interesting. Okay. Now, 
Thank you. Excellent. Good job. Give them an applause to, to Marta and Marvin. Okay, <laughs> it's have. Remember, have, me decía, but it's have. 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 This another word is reschedule. Reschedule. Y en esta no nos vamos a quedar hasta import. Vamos a decir NT, pero se pronuncia solo la N y la T, sin A. Important. Important. Like that. Important. Information. Eso se dice sounds. That sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, gracias. Teacher, thank you, you said. Ok, bueno, se quedó en el mismo círculo la participación. Ellos tomaron su, las cartas en el asunto. Eh, no tenía modo, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es? Ok, let's continue with the class. Now, I want to ask you something. I need to know if you know how to say the days of the week and the months of the year. Do you know the days of the week, Andrea? Yes. Gaby says yes. Sorry. It's okay. Do you know the days of the week? Like Monday, Tuesday. ¿Se sabe los días de la semana? Yes. Okay, me los puedes. Can you tell me? The days of Monday, Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday, 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 uh, Thursday, Friday, yeah. uh -huh. Saturday, uh, Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Sunday. And what is your favorite day of the week, Andrea? Sunday. Sunday is your favorite day? Yes. Okay. And what is the day you don't like? Um, Monday. Monday. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. What about Atenas? What is your favorite day of the week, Atenas? My favorite day is um, Saturday. Saturday? And the day you don't like? Monday. Monday. <laughs> Nobody likes Monday. Okay. Don't like Monday. Yeah. <laughs> We're not Monday people. Son los que descansan el Monday, they like Monday. Carlos, what about you? What is your favorite day of the week? Uh, my favorite day of the week is Monday. Uh, really? Why? Is it yeah. your day off? No. You like Do Mondays? From, to Monday, from Monday to Sunday. But Monday always is my favorite day. I start my week with with the best of the best. And what is your what is the day you don't like then? Um, Saturday. Saturday, I feel so short. Oh, you feel short the Saturday? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That that's that's his opinion. Okay. Excellent. What about Maria Teresa? What is your favorite day of the week? My favorite day is um, Sunday. Sunday, and the day you don't like? Um, Monday. Monday too? Okay, excellent, excellent. My favorite day of the week is Friday, you guys. I don't know why, but for me, is the feeling que ya viene el weekend. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's, yo descanso más tranquila, I feel better. Then Saturday and Sunday, like this. But Friday, Friday feels, hasta voy a con ánimo de trabajo. I feel like really, really, really good on Fridays. And the day that I don't like, it's probably Monday too. <laughs> I don't like Mondays either. They are, I don't know, so they go, ah, arrancar. El martes digo, bueno, ya mañana es miércoles. El miércoles digo, ya mañana es jueves. El jueves digo, viernesito. <laughs> y el viernes, yes, fin de semana. Yeah, so yeah, probably Monday. Probably Monday will be. Now let's ask another question. Do you know the months of the year? Yep. Okay, excellent. Ellen, can you tell me the months of the year? 
El que me gusta o el que no me gusta. No, all the months of the year, todos los meses del año. Ah, sí, yes. Ok, can you tell them? <laughs> January. Ok. February, March, uh -huh. April. March, April. April. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. <laughs> Excellent. Yo vi que cuando dijo July se puso a reír Mario. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. It's just happened. Yeah. <laughs> Are you calling me? <laughs> <laughs> que si lo está llamando, dice. <laughs> Como dijo July. Okay. So January, February, March, April, April. Okay. Remember, it's April, no April. April, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Ok, Mario, yo vi que se volvió a reír y ahora sí lo vi de verdad. <laughs> ok, now we're going to ask, what is your favorite month of the year? And what is the month of the year you don't like? Okay, let's see. Hmm. Gabby, what is your favorite month of the year? My favorite is December. December, okay. And the month you don't like? January. January, okay. What about you, Karen Desire? What is your favorite month of the year? My favorite month is November. Okay. And September is not like. You don't like September. Okay, perfect. What about Kirna? What is your favorite month of the year, Kirna? My favorite month is January. Okay. Um, the month you don't like? Um, what is it? I don't know. Um, Nunca se puesto a No. <laughs> Um, April. 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 Okay. April. 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 Okay. Excellent. Right. Jenny, what about you? What is your favorite month of the year? My favorite is December. Okay. And you don't like? February. February. <laughs> okay. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Mario, I'm curious about you. Is July your favorite month of the year? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, no. What is your favorite month of the year? My favorite month is November. Okay. And the month you don't like? April. April. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, interesting. I don't know why you don't like April, but huh? okay. It's very hot April. Oh, it's because I of the like heat. It. Yeah, yeah, yes. it's true. I didn't thought of that. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Mm. Carlos, what about you? What is your favorite month? Oh, my favorite month is February. And the month you don't like? Um, I really don't need, need no? You don't have a month you don't like? I don't have a month, bad month. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Carlos. What about no. you, Marvin? What is your favorite month of the year? My favorite month is February. February? And you, the month you don't like? October. Como se octubre? October. October. Okay, next month. Oh, okay. It's the okay. best month. October yes. is the best month? But why? Well, for me, October is... Eh, it's okay. Tengo que pagar una tarjeta de circulación en October, so no es tan bueno. Good. <laughs> no es mía, es mi mamá. Pero, yeah, I have to. Atenas, what is your favorite month of the year? My favorite month in uh, of the year is um december and the month you don't like um january january okay okay in my case my favorite month of the year is july and december just because i have vacations and the month i don't like probably will be february 
porque es cuando los alumnos vuelven a la escuela. And... Hey, we are hearing you. No, pero no ustedes. Ustedes no están en la escuela. Ustedes están Ay, acá. Y, usted, y ustedes están conmigo desde... A veces yo llego hasta en diciembre dando clases con corporativo. Digo a veces. Ok, pero en los de la escuela me refiero a los que van a la escuela, you guys. Los niños. You know? You know that? Okay. okay. So, so like February and April. Ahora que ya lo mencionaron, April, porque es hot. It's true. April is hot. It's very hot. Y aquí en Oriente, too much hot. It's mm, like the hottest. Okay. Now, I have a question. What is your busiest day of the week? Su día más ocupado de la semana. What is your busiest day of the week? My busiest day of the week will be from Monday to Thursday. But I will say Monday is the busiest. What about you guys? Let's see. Hmm. Karen, what is your busiest day of the week? Okay. 